Hey, welcome back to Raul's Aquatics and Reptiles. We're gonna be heading on into Petco to see what kind of Black Friday deals they got. Follow me. All right, we're here at Petco. We're gonna see what kind of Black Friday deals they got. Welcome back to Raul's Aquatics and Reptile. We just came back from Petco just to check to see if they had any deals on like the uh, livestock or the decors. None of that. They just got deals on tanks and cat and dog stuff. So it uh, doesn't apply to me because I don't have any cats and dogs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage and go ahead on over to Orlando Aquascape and see what they got going on over there. So stay tuned. Literally 30 minutes to get out the plaza because of Black Friday. And I don't know if there's something in the air, but Black Friday causes people to drive crazy and do dumb things. Lord help us. Lord help us get to our next destination safely. Hey, welcome back to my channel. We just got here to Orlando Aquascape. We're gonna go inside here and check out and see what they got. Maybe I can take advantage of some of those Black Friday deals. Stay tuned. What do you mean? Probably gets here next. That one right there. This guy? No, no. Thank you. This one? Melon sword. Oh, the melon sword. Yeah, the one right behind that. Oh, okay. Not that yet, but that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Come on down to Orlando Aquascape. They got the deals going on right now. 25% off and a lot of stuff. Come on down and check it out. These guys always take care of me when I come into the store, man. Check them out on Instagram. I'll put the link down below so you guys can check it out. Good store, good stuff. So yeah, I'm just now leaving Orlando Aquascape. Got me a couple of things. I'm on my way to the house. I'll show you guys what I bought from the store. I didn't buy too much because I was just there last week. So I had to take advantage of a uh, little bit of sale they had going on there. So uh, I get to the house, I'll show you guys what I got going on. This weekend I plan on uh, rearranging the escape on the uh, puffer tank. Uh, redoing Kiwi's tank, my uh, leopard gecko. And uh, just doing my little 25% water changes that I need to do. Nothing major this weekend, guys. But I'll definitely uh, show you guys the updates, okay? Stay tuned. to the channel so yeah today was an exciting day i went on over to the orlando aquascape in place and picked up some driftwood some spider driftwood i picked up some lava stone while i was there i picked up some plants i also picked up a mystery snail 
and I went to Pet Supermarket and picked up a, um, a Pleco. So I added the Pleco to my crawfish tank. He normally is in the tank by himself, but I decided to add the Pleco into the tank. And I also got some feeder fish for my uh, flower horn belladonna. Well, it was this one feeder fish. It was kind of like silverish and gold. Actually, looks like a koi fish. So I felt sorry for him, and I kept him. I actually put him inside the crawfish tanks. I want to see how the crawfish does. I want to see how Thanos does with more other livestock inside of his tank. Uh, he's always been by himself. So I've got to keep an eye out and see how he does. He's already been his claws out every time the fish goes by him. I'm afraid that he's going to snatch up the fish. So I'm hoping that the fish is smart enough to you know, swim away because, uh, you know, he's very territorial. The Pleco, I'm not too very worried about the Pleco. The Pleco is going to stay on the other end of the tank. So hopefully they're going to all live in harmony. The puffer tank came out good. I took out some stuff and added some new stuff on there. I'll show you guys. But it looks pretty good. So today was today was a good day. I didn't do a lot. I did the water change to the puffer tank. Tomorrow I'm going to do the water change to the community tank. And I'm also going to do some uh, rearranging to the uh, leopard gecko tank. Uh... You know, change up her escape a little bit. I get tired of seeing the same thing over and over. It's got to be a certain way. So tomorrow I'm going to see if I come up with some creative ideas and switch her tank around a little bit. So yeah, stay tuned to tomorrow. And uh, hopefully you guys like the video. Like and subscribe. Like I said, I'm a new channel. The more you guys like, the more subscribers that I do get helps the channel grow. And uh, hopefully, you know, I can keep putting out good content for you guys, keep you guys interested. Like I said, I got a lot of animals, so I like to take my time and do certain videos on different things. Sometimes I get caught up with doing so much that I, I become overwhelmed. So I, I need to slow it down a little bit and uh, concentrate on certain things here and there. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys like today's video. Uh, I'm probably going to upload some more part of this video tomorrow show you guys the final touches on the um, leopard gecko tank as you guys know last week i did my uh bearded dragon her tank made it look nice hope you guys like that also i like to take the time out to wish everybody a happy thanksgiving i hope you guys enjoyed your time with your friends and family well i hope you guys enjoyed the video the community tank is doing very well i actually like the plants that i put in there i want to show you guys the plants here in a second um tank's a little little foggy uh a little you know murky because i stirred it around stirred the substrate around when i was putting the plants in uh, it looks really good i'm really really falling in love with these plants i plan on adding more plants to the tanks uh from what i understand the brackish water is not good for any plants to survive in. The crawfish tank, I don't know if I'm going to put some plants in there. I'm pretty much going to keep the plants in the community tank. But it's looking really good. I'm, I'm kind of impressed of uh, how, how it's coming along. So stay tuned. So those are the plants that I added to the tank. Pretty plants, man. I'm telling you, I'm really falling in love with the plants inside the tanks now. Well, actually inside my community tank. Got some more plants back there. So the fish, they're doing good. I added some lava rocks down there. And there's the mystery snail. He's in there. For the most part, the tank is doing pretty good. I got to do a water change tomorrow, like I said. But, uh, yeah. Doing pretty good. Got the new penguin filter on there. It's not the Aquion Quiet Flow. But it's a stronger filter. It's doing its job. Man, I'm really digging these plants, man. Tell me what you guys think. Comment down below. Tell me how you guys like the, the plants that I added to the tank.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Raul's Aquatics and Reptile. Today is Sunday. Uh, as I promised, I went on ahead and took care of Kiwi, my leopard gecko's tank. Redid her scape a little bit, changed it around, replaced the substrate. I like to uh, do her substrate like every two weeks because of the pooping and things of that nature. So cleaned it up real well. She seems to be happy. She always stays in that one hive that you saw her crawling in. She goes in the other hives occasionally but for the most part she stays in that hive there that's where i've got the heater at now for her also you guys notice i start i was putting the calcium in her food and the rapashi calcium two different type of calcium one has d3 the other one doesn't have d3 study shows <laughs> for bone growth for the uh, leopard geckos to stay healthy you need to give them the calcium without the d3 for them to eat and lick on every now and then so i put it inside a little small white top I put that separate from her food, and on her food, I put the D3 calcium on for the worms, for her to eat. She's a real simple animal to maintain. The kids take her out every other day and play with her. She's in my daughter's room, so she belongs to my daughter. I teach my daughter to do certain things, but for the most part, I'm on top of her telling her to make sure she replenishes the water when the water gets dry and runs out, evaporates, so she drinks it up. So we replace the water every two or three days, give her worms. Every now and then I give her crickets, but for the most part she eats the worms. Uh, we rarely catch her eating, but I know she's eating them because they're gone. And the one little bowl that I have, the worms can't get out of. So I know she's eating them. She does it at nighttime. Uh, we tend to keep the light on only for like eight hours in a day and then we cut it back off. But uh, yeah, she's doing good. She's a good animal. Thank God for that. Uh, like I said, I got her on offer up from a guy who was getting rid of her and sold me the tank and her for I believe it was $60. Not bad, not bad at all. When I told my daughter and my son, they were excited. So I jumped on in the wedding and got it for her. I believe we've had her now for, I wanna say six, seven months now. But anyway, remember guys, the D3 calcium, you do pour on her food, on their food, and the regular pure calcium on a separate little bowl to the side for them to uh, nibble on every now and then. I've read that online and I've also studied that on YouTube. But anyway, that concludes my week's uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next week, I'll have some more things to talk about, so stay tuned. Uh, once again, like I said, like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Um, but quick update. I did the water change on the community tank. I did the water change on the puffer tank. My bearded dragon, she's doing phenomenal. Same, you know, same deal. She's always good. My flower horn, same thing. Greedy, eating all day and pooping all over the place. He seems to be getting really bigger. His head is getting bigger. So I know that he's doing very well from day one that we got him till now. He's huge. So he's doing pretty good. So uh, stay tuned. I hope everybody had a nice weekend. And I'll see you guys next week.